the boardwalk builders. It was a breezy Wednesday afternoon in coastal Barbados, where palm trees swayed and music drifted from food stalls along the Waston's boardwalk. Mara, a thoughtful ten-year-old with dark brown skin, expressive hazel eyes, and a crown of thick, curly hair tied in a puff with a bright pink headband, strolled alongside her best friend. She wore a turquoise T-shirt with a jellyfish print, denim shorts, and glittery sneakers. Mara walked with a springy step and a cautious tilt of the head, always observing. Micah, also ten, had a British accent, lighter skin tone, green eyes. With brown hair, Micah wore a green polo, brown cargo shorts, and blue sandals. His energy was magnetic, always leaning forward, eyes wide, with a half smile, ready for a new idea. Still no sign of the Z-line bus. Want to walk the boardwalk? Who knows? We might spot flying fish or a beach crab war. As long as we don't spot homework. They had just finished their weekend robotics class and were heading home together. Though today, things wouldn't go as planned. They had barely walked ten minutes when a shadow zipped overhead, followed by a crash and a high-pitched whirr, with a crashing sound and a whirl of dust in the bush ahead of them. Did you see that? Come on. They reached the crash site in a bush on the right side of the road. Tangled in the grass was a small, strange machine. One wing crushed, wires sticking out like wild hair. Whoa! It's like a robot bird. Or maybe a spy gadget. Micah looked around, cautious. He gently scooped up the broken machine and whispered, "Let's go. I have an idea." Back home, Micah could barely sit still during lunch. His brain buzzed like a blender. Mara, want to see something awesome? Ten minutes. Don't start without me. When Mara arrived, Micah was already surrounded by tools and parts. What is that thing anyway? It's a drone, a flying robot. I looked it up. It has a camera, motors, and these propellers. Two of them still work. Each part has a specific function. So it's a robot that flies. Exactly. Robots can move, sense, and think in simple ways. They're like machines with mini brains. Some roll, some fly, some even dance. Think we can fix it or build another one? We're not just fixing this. We're going to create something new—a helper robot of sorts. They decided to split up to hunt for parts. Mara rummaged through the garage and found an old toy truck, four wheels intact. She grabbed two clothespins from the line, straws from the kitchen, and a plastic bottle. She even grabbed jelly beans from the candy jar, just in case robots liked snacks. Micah found a foam board, a knitting needle, the drone's camera and motors, and some wires. But then, disaster struck. Uh oh! One of the motors just fried. It's dead. What does that mean? We'll need to rewire it and switch to a two-wheel design instead. It won't fly, but it can roll and push stuff. We'll need to figure out a way to keep it balanced. What if it had a jelly bean belly? It'll stay balanced. Genius. They worked side by side. Micah piercing holes in the plastic bottle with the knitting needle. Mara slipping popsicle sticks through straws to make axles. The jelly beans made the bottle sturdy, and the clothespins acted as grabbers. Micah used the foam board for the robot's head and attached the controller and camera. After some twists, turns, and a few shocking zaps, it's alive. What should we name it? Hmm. How about BB for the boardwalk bot? Perfect. As they stepped outside, the robot whirred and bumped gently along the porch, pushing a fallen flip-flop out of the way. Next Sunday, let's build one that folds laundry. Why stop there? We could build one that brings mango juice. Oh, I've got so many ideas! Can't wait for our next journey. They raced down the boardwalk. The boardwalk bot rolling behind them. Along with other trial bots, ready for their first seaside adventure. The end, or just the beginning? Thank you for watching. Join our email list to be the first to get new content.